I'm Ryan, I'm originally from South Yorkshire and now I live in Leeds. Look impressed with the river. Yeah, it's a river. I was born in 1983, just for the miners' strike. My dad worked down a pit, my mum works for the NHS. We really struggled for a time. We lived on food donations. I guess one of the main reasons that I joined the trade union is because a union just felt like the safest place for me. I've got someone there that's on my side. I'm really fortunate doing the job that I do that I'm able to put things in place that challenge some of these situations. So just over 20 years ago, an event took place in London which completely changed my life. And that was the bombing of the Admiral Duncan pub by far-right activists. I happened to be in London at Time. And just two days later, I took the decision to tell my family I was gay. You know, I was only 16 at the time, and that was a really big thing. From that point, really, my life completely went on a different track. Because of what happened, I really wanted to give LGBT people a voice. Social media is a really good platform for putting out your idea, but it's also a really good platform for people to connect on a much deeper level. I'm here to talk to my friend Ross, who works for an LGBT organisation in Leeds. My project's called West Yorkshire Queer Stories. We're funded by the Heritage Lottery to basically speak to a really broad range of LGBT plus people across the region, kind of find out their experiences, their stories, their histories. These have been put together by people that are really having to fight and hide their, who they are. Sometimes we think that the fight is over because we've got certain equality in this country, but around the world it is getting worse and worse for people. I'm not angry, I'm frustrated that things seem to be going backwards. There are issues in this country, there are issues right around the world. Growing far-right activity, homophobia and transphobia. We need to educate people that the fight is not over. Now, when I first got involved in trade unions, I thought it would be just people wearing a high-vis jacket. <laughs> I guess you could describe a trade union like a swan on a, a lake, that you see this really calm thing going on, but actually underneath it's paddling away to support our members. You do see that high-vis jacket, you do see that flag, but we're much more than that. Knowing that everything I'm going to be doing that day is going to be making a difference to people. And coffee.